Right now, a deadly standoff in New Jersey continues this morning. One innocent person is dead. Three police officers have been hurt. The police have been working this scene now for more than 24 hours. ABC's Emily Rao has the story. Police using a bullhorn pleading with the 35-year-old suspect to come out of his house and end the day-old deadly standoff. You'd think by now something would be done. Yeah, I mean, they could do something. Neighbors are evacuating the area after little progress overnight. Many of them heard the gunfire early Wednesday morning as police attempted to serve a warrant and Tylee Brees allegedly started shooting from inside the house. Officers hid behind cars, but a 56-year-old man standing outside the house was shot and killed. As the officers were uh, backing out of the house under fire, uh, suspect continued to fire, um, during which time uh, an individual outside of the residence was struck by a gunfire and is deceased. Three police officers also hurt but released from the hospital. Negotiations lasted all through the night using tear gas. Okay. Knocking down doors at nearby homes, even sending in a robot with a cell phone, an attempt to persuade Reese into surrendering. It is too close for home. I mean, it's right there. I'm right there. Not much has changed overnight. Police say the goal is still to get Reese to surrender. They believe his leg is hurt somehow and have offered to help him if he comes out of the house. Emily Rao, ABC News, New York.